want, Dimitri. I always thought that there was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with bright talking and burning crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. You do not want to anger me more. Persuade them to give up the contract. We can work together. I will cut you in, Nico. Let's be friends. I made the mistake of working with you before. It's not one I'll repeat. Goodbye. Any closer than this. There's one less cop on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Packy? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Hey, Kate. I am sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. It's a rat. Great, thanks. And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. 
Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my God! Get the hell out of the way! Nico, it's time to go, but we're taking my brother with us. Can you drive the Romero? Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? No more, Nico. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? I thought that you would know better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up. I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Okay, this is it. We can put him in the ground now. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico.
Jerry. I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. Get a discussion. Put you on the visitors list here. Come down.
Okay, kid? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Hey. Uh, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor bastard. He believed in something once. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here. Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? Oh, a lot of things. Racketeer and armed robbery. A bunch of shit I never did, because I was always a well-behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course. Like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what, uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. Brother told me to call you. Jerry wants us to kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed haired, Guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place, though. Play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed up area, and they'll come down on you damn heavy. Aren't you going to help? One of my fucking brothers just got shot, and another one's in the pen. Someone's gotta be with my mom.
I'm, uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man to drive a pink convertible. Well, okay. well, I, I can't resist the bargain. Western civilization. You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. Weasel Sky Sentinel 3D Doppler 1000 showing some patches of moisture heading down the coast. Too ashamed to develop into something we should pay attention to. So, you like the car? I didn't think a manly guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. You don't meet guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You and him close? Nah, not really. He's great and all. It's just I don't like his tough guy friends. I only hang out with gay guys, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every 10 seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next girl. Maybe even more than the next girl. Are you having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing, Gracie. How's it going then, sweetie? All right, but what I'm here for hasn't really started yet. You've been test driving for a while, so I can only guess that you're interested in something other than the car. I am. I'm here to kidnap you, Grace Ancelotti. I don't want to hurt you, so remain fucking calm. Fuck you! That's it, fuck wait. I can call it daddy, and he ain't gonna treat you as polite as I do, that's for sure. You're not calling shit, bitch. You're coming with me. You motherfucker, you sick... Bastard, you creep! I am not just letting you take me! Yes, you are! You ain't taking me nowhere! Yes, I am! Calm the fuck down, or little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. The moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator. Making up for your one-inch punch with fast cars and guns. End of the line! No, it isn't! You've seen the last of me! I really wish that was true. No room to hold me in. Yeah, but I can. You're fucking with the wolf. See you later, you dumb fuck.
You're the guy who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. Gracie, by the way. Hey, Grace, why are you selling this car? Seems pretty good. Let's just say that me and the LCPD have had a few disagreements about blood alcohol levels. How's a girl meant to get back to Albany after a big night out in Algonquin if she's not drunk driving? She could stay sober. You sound like my dad. Anyway, you clearly have not been to Mason at night. There's no such thing as sober in that place. I've always been told I was a fast girl. If I stick to booze, it's a miracle. I could get in at first, but now that I know Tony, it isn't a problem. You should calm down one night. I don't know if it would be my scene. I'll tell everyone you're a big Russian oil guy or an arms dealer. We'll get fucked up and they'll love you. Before you know it, you'll have your own group, table service, a whole scene. We'll see. I'm not after the car. I'm after you. I mean this is a kidnapping. Control yourself, remain calm, and you might just walk away from this with your life. Oh my fucking god! You fucking pervert! That's it, fuck wit. I am calling daddy, and he ain't gonna treat you as polite as I do, that's for sure. You're not calling shit, bitch. You're coming with me. You motherfucker, you sick bastard, you creep! I am not just letting you take me! Yes, you are! Chill out before I pull this trigger and make you real fucking chill. You are in so much trouble, Lipstick. My daddy loves his little girl. There ain't no child lock on this thing. But I'm right here. How are you gonna keep me in a convertible, retard? Like this. Sorry, shit balls. Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna make you crash this thing. I don't think so. Fucking with the wrong girl, asshole. I am Gracie Ancelotti, and I. Shut up, peace, class. Well, Rasta, yo, yo, I'm going down at a strip club, Mr. Mencia. No can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and uh, <laughs> I don't think it would be appropriate. Let's speak soon, though, huh? There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pa's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, they better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch. 